Hello guys, I am Devendu and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is a part of my Bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist. And in this video, we will discuss about the margin and padding of the Bootstrap. We will see how you can code them and also touch upon some of the basics of margin and padding. So if you are a complete beginner, then also you can watch this full video. So without wasting any time, let's start. So in the documentation of the bootstrap, if you go in the docs and then just scroll down to the utilities, you can see there is a section called spacing. Okay. So in the spacing, you can clearly see that it is written margin and padding and here are all of the details of margin and padding is written. So let's take one by one. So for margin and padding declaration in the bootstrap, we also have some of the predefined classes provided by bootstrap and this is actually the format of those classes or actually the naming of formatting of those classes for using the merging and padding so just copy this thing okay so these are the three things that is the property sides and size okay so let's take one by one so what is the property so in the merging and padding you can see it is clear written that where the property is one of the as it is written the m for merging and p for padding so if you wanted to do any padding then you need to write the p for the padding just like this and if you want any set any margin so you just need to write m for the margin so this is the property and in the next thing is that there is written the sides so we all know that for the margin and the padding you can declare some of the css like you just need to margin in the top or you can need to margin in the bottom similarly you can set up the padding in the left or padding in the right so you can do all of this thing using the css but Similarly, in the bootstrap, we can also do this thing with the help of the sides or the side parameter. Okay. So if you wanted to do any padding in the top, then you just need to write the T. So PT is for the padding top. Similarly, if you write the MT, it is for the margin top. Similarly, if you write MB, it is for margin bottom. MS it stands for margin start and ME is for the margin end. Okay. So you can also clear this thing that these four are the top, bottom, side and end okay so we have some of the x and y so if you wanted to put the padding only into the x-axis that is you want the padding in left side and the right side also so and you can quickly write this thing with the help of the px so if you write the px then you just don't need to write the ps and pe separately with the help of the px you can write all of this thing in one line okay so this is the functionality of px similarly we have y so if you wanted to padding or sorry if you wanted to margin in the y axis or in the top and the bottom then you can clearly write that my my stands for the margin in the top and the bottom also you can also read see or read this thing that is written the set both left and right for x and it is written set both top and bottom okay and suppose you wanted to return the blank so the blank means you just only write m or you just only write p so for the blank means that if you write something like m so then your components has the margin in the all of the direction so that's mean that in the top bottom left right in all of the direction your component has some margin or if, if your component has some padding okay so this is all about the sides and the property so the next thing is that the size so you can see in the bootstrap we have actually six sizes which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the last one is the auto okay so each of the sizes has some set of limit of the padding or the margin size okay and this specify with a css variable called spacer and this spacer is actually has some value as one rim you can see it here okay so you can see it is the size variable and you can see the spaces uh, sorry the spacer has one rem and it has some of the configuration like zero one two three four five so the if the spacing or if the size is zero then the spacing is will be the zero and if you write the size as one then it will be one into 0 0.25 that's mean it will be 0 0.5 rem similarly for two it will be one into 0 0.5 which is the 0 0.5 rem for the three it will be one rem for the four it will be 1.5 rem similarly for the five it will be three rem okay so you just clear about that what is the sizes so we have the different sizes for different types of padding and the margin and the last thing is that we have the auto so in the css we have something like margin auto or padding auto so similar thing you can do with the help of the auto okay so these are the all of the sizes so 
for the region the sizes you don't need one dash and then just write whatever the size you wanted to do okay so suppose you wanted to do one margin in the top suppose for five okay so that means it is the margin top with for the five it suppose it is the three rdm okay. so that's mean if you write the empty five it that's mean the margin top three rdm similarly if you write padding bottom three then it will be similar like padding bottom one rdm okay so the sizing we are getting from here from the spacer into the values or the constant that we need to multiply with the help of the spacer to get the actual value in the sizes okay so i hope this is the clear so let's quickly code this thing and see what is them okay so let's open the vs code so this is our vs code i already added the bootstrap cdn links here you can see the it is the javascript link and it is the css link let's quickly write the code so the first thing i want to do i will create two divs one is the outer div it is the outer div and it is the inner div okay just increasing the font okay so for the outer div i will provide one background colors as the background secondary and in the inner div i will provide the info background color so if you don't know anything about the background color of the bootstrap and how we can set up them just watch my previous video where i discuss everything about the background colors or all of the colors related thing in details so definitely check that out so i have retained two divs so if you just see the code now you will not see anything because we don't have any content okay so if i write anything like this and just save this thing you can see clearly that it is has the two divs one is provided as the bg secondary it is the grayish color and other one is the bg info which is the bluish color okay so i just deleting this thing just don't need to write this thing again okay so everything is gone i am just setting the okay i think this is fine okay so if we wanted to write anything or any padding in the outer divs just write p and suppose i wanted to provide the size as 5 okay so if you just save this thing you can see this component or this outer component set up some padding and this is the size of 5 okay so this is how you can set the padding and as i only write the p with the help of the none so this thing i have written that with the help of the blank i have written the padding so that's mean in the whole direction our component has the padding okay and similarly if you write the margin just like m5 so our component will have margin in the all of the directions so if i just save this thing you can see this component has the margin in the top bottom left and right in all of the directions and if we just write empty so empty is just stands for the margin top so if i save this thing you can see this only margin available is in the top not in the bottom so this is the cool demonstration of how we can use the matching and the padding similarly if we write like p5 you can see this component uh in before this component can't see because it don't have any content but now this component has some padding and also if i write some content like this so this is the actual content you can see there is the content and if i just inspect this thing for understanding you better and this is our body and inside it it has our outer diff and it is it is the inner diff okay so if i just see this thing just see one thing that in between okay so let's take the inner diff so you can see this is the whole demonstration of the component and this center thing is actually the content or the html text or anything that we provide in between them is the actual content this is here and this thing is the border we don't provide any border so let's quickly provide one border so style border 5 pixels solid just write black okay so just save this thing you can see there are some background or there are some border available here so let's see now okay so sorry so you can see now this is the content and this is the border so everything that or the space between the border and our actual content is called the padding okay so remember carefully that everything that is in between the content and the border is called the padding and outside the border 
remember carefully that outside the border the space we have in a component is called the margin okay so just provide one simple margin like m5 so now see in this component we will see some margin also so this is the content this is the padding now this is the border and outside the border we have the margin so this is the whole margin that we are seeing okay similarly for the outer div also the whole outer div actually if we just hover with them so this is the whole outer div and inside the outer div we have one inner div okay and in the outer div we have written some padding and the margin top 5 okay so just see the content is here there is no padding why it's no padding okay so i just selected it you can see here is some padding is available here that we have written p5 it is actually the same thing okay so this is the content content is nothing just a div inside it and after the border or the inside the border and the actual content we have the padding and outer the border we have the margin and as we have set the margin only top so the margin is only available in the top so if we write the my so that's mean the margin will be available in the top and bottom also so let's see the margin available on the top and bottom and also if i write mx and save this thing you can see now there is no margin in the top the margin available in the left and right side that's mean at the start and the end position you can see the left side and the right side we have the margin the padding is same the content is same just we have changed the padding or sorry we have changed the margin so this is the basic of the content that what is the margin and what is the padding so i hope this will clear your doubts at how we can set up this thing you can also set up the sizes of them so this is how it will be looking like okay so we have actually completed everything so you can control the negative margins also but for that you just need to enable the negative margin true in this as variables so that is what you can do so I think I described everything about the margin and padding inside the bootstrap 5. I hope you all doubt will be clear. And if you like this video, please give a like. And I wanted to tell you something that you will get a button like this in my YouTube channel. So just click on that button to make it gray and comment out anything, your name or how you like this video, anything that the YouTube algorithm will eventually help me for reaching out for more people. So please help me by comment out anything and please don't forget to like this video. So see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.